Hey guys, this is the boy from Tennis House. If your surf looks like this, you definitely need to watch this video right now and not go away from the screen for the next seven, eight minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna talk about the surf and what's important and how to hold the racket and how to do things correctly on the surf so you do not look like the surf I just showed you. And if you like what we do, Take a moment, turn the notification button on, subscribe to our channel, share our channel with everybody on this planet, and let's do not waste any more time. Let's get so straight to it. If you do it. not want to look like I just showed you on the video, then pay attention and stay with me. So the reason why players do this is has a couple of reasons. You know, the wrong grip, wrong timing, dropping the racket too early. So this is one important factor. When the players go up here, a lot of players drop the racket too early in here and that can be caused by a toss that's too high because it's hard to wait in this position for a long time so players drop the racket too early you know it can be you know like just getting and having the wrong grip you know a lot of players <laughs> serve with a semi-western grip or western and they just go up already they toss it and go up in this position so if you have a continental grip going to be way harder to get in that position so if you have a east uh, semi-western or western you know players get early in that position so how do we fix that position so we know now it's because you know the tosses might be too high we have the wrong grip so how do we fix that so first of all have a continental grip that's going to help you if you have an eastern fine uh, ideally you want to have a continental grip so the continental grip is key you have that continental grip what I would do is start, start in this, not in the whole motion, keep the racket up, keep your um, arms shoulder, shoulder height here, the racket tip points forward to the sky and the arm is slightly to the right. And what I would do at the beginning is I, I would isolate the lower body and you just try to keep the left hand in front of you and you just toss the ball up, just like that. Keep the arms straight and toss the ball up. So, the toss is very important, obviously, one of the most important things you need to get that consistent. So your arms are straight, you hit the hold the ball nicely in the fingertips, the arm is up, you keep this up, and then you just toss it up and toss it up. So once the players get familiar with that, you just let them hit like that. So that's the first step what I would do. Once they understand the concept and they get the toss a little bit better, then you have several methodical steps you can do to improve that motion to not get the racket in this position so you have the right grip one thing that we see on the internet a lot is the party hat where the inside edge you know you can have a party hat or a cone up here and the inside edge kicks that cone off your arm goes into this position then your elbow shoots up the arm forearm goes and then the outside edge goes up and then you pronate in the end. So it's always inside edge, outside edge. And if you have a party head or a cone, you can definitely, when you have the racket here, you can knock that cone off and you, you're not gonna get into this position if you knock the cone off. The next thing you can do is to get a feel for that is if you're up here, make try to drop the racket in the index finger and in the thumb. So now, the racket's gonna go in this position and then you swing and draw like a figure eight if you want to and get a nice smooth swing and having the racket holding it up like here so you hold it drop it and then you swing so you you get a feel a little bit for it that it's not here that it actually drops in here and your arm goes in and then you go up and swing so that's that's the second thing uh you can you can do for that so those two things are actually you know very great methodical steps to get a feel for the whole motion and then in the end of the day when you put all together hopefully you're not going to look like this anymore hopefully you have the right grip you and you're going to be able to hit that surf so if that was useful if you could use the info um, i would appreciate you if you leave me a comment down there and share the video with some friends subscribe turn the notification button on and share the video with every friend you have in this whole world and thank you for watching guys my name is Devor. I'm the owner of Tennis House.